Hi boys and girls. If you've gotten this far, that means that you have successfully navigated to the classwork section and you have found um, the design a Rube Goldberg assignment and um, you have found the resources there. So hold on. I know my view looks a little bit different than your guys's just because I'm the teacher, um, but maybe you have something that looks like this. Think of you, you had to click on view assignment and it has it all here. So first of all, it says, watch the attached instructions video for detailed information about the assignment, which you all, all have obviously done because you're watching it. Um, I do not have that attached right now because I'm actually making it. So it's kind of funny. Um, so next step says to watch the videos with the sample uh, Rube Goldberg devices to get a better understanding of how they work. Um, attached here are a whole bunch of, well, four of my favorite examples that I found of Rube Goldberg's. Now there's tons out there, um, but these are some examples. Um, but to help you out, it might be a good idea to start with what is a Rube Goldberg? So Rube Goldberg was actually a guy. He was a cartoonist back in the early half of the 1900s. And he would create these cartoons for newspapers that were kind of funny. It was like, what was the, think of something very simple to do. Like in this case, this kid here is trying to turn on the TV. What, what sort of things could he do to, to, uh, to do with very little effort and to make it overly complicated? Um, so here he's got a fishing pole, he's got some pulleys, and um, here I searched Rube Goldberg. <clears throat> here are a whole bunch more cartoon examples, they're kind of funny. This guy here, this is one of the classics. Uh, he's trying to get a device to, to wipe his face with as he's eating. So he wears this huge contraption on his head and one thing triggers another thing, which triggers another thing. It's like a, <clears throat> um, oh shoot, I can't think of the word. Anyways, there's another one. Oh, it looks like it's cut off a little bit. Oh, here. I think this is a, a device to help you get out of bed in the morning, or maybe to give you medicine. Anyways, so he always made his as cartoons. When you're making your idea, you don't have to make it like cartoony like this. You can sketch it more like real life if you want. Um, but your mission will be to sort of think about like, what you would want your drawing to accomplish. So, for example, you would want it to be very simple. So you could uh, have your drawing move a soup can. These are my examples that I thought of. Open or close a door. Um, getting something like a marble to land in a bucket. There was a video, I don't think it's one of the ones I attached, where it was literally to get a trash can to empty into a bigger trash can. So it just keep it very, very simple. And then step three, um, is to start designing your device, but you want to think about like everyday materials and think about things that you have available in your house. Okay, because step five may or may not be to actually make it, but we're not doing that this week. Right now we're just drawing it. So you want to think about simple things that you have, buckets, um, paper, kitchen supplies, um, water bottles, books, Maybe you have Legos or um, like marble works or connects or something like toys in your house that could, you could use as well. Um, and then there are some specific requirements. So um, as you're drawing it, we want to think about using as many of the types of energy that we've learned about as possible. So gravitational potential energy, motion, thermal, that one could be tricky. Doesn't mean you have to set fire. <laughs> friction, which is like where two surfaces rub together, like when wheels go on a pavement, that causes friction. That could be how you get thermal. Um, elastic, maybe you have a some sort of rubber band or a spring, something like that. Sound, light, magnets, magnetic, chemical. Anyways, you don't have to use all of them, but you want to try and use as many as possible in your device. And then of course the design needs to be detailed, neat, 
carefully drawn, um, use color um, that helps actually make it more detailed. And then of course, add a title. And then step four, and I'll show you an example of this in a minute. Step four is to add labels to your design. So once you've drawn it, you're gonna go back and label like the types of energy that you're showing in your design. Um, you're gonna label an energy transfer. Okay, that's where energy goes from one object to another. And you're gonna label an energy transformation, at least one. You may, you may um, want to label more than one, that's fine. And that's just where the actual type of energy changes. And of course, you learned that when you were watching the video um, from uh, before. Okay, if you haven't already, and you're having questions about energy transfer versus transformation. If you look back here, energy transfer versus transformation, there's a whole video that I made and a slideshow that'll help you understand the differences. So, all right, let me give you some examples here. So let's say I was gonna draw my Rube Goldberg and I'm going to make it so that my device dumps some food into the guinea pig cages. Um, and I apologize, my drawing program isn't the best. If you decide to draw yours digitally, you're going to want to make sure that your drawing program is working properly and allows you to be detailed. Mine, well, it's more my stylus, but anyways, um, a lot of you guys might end up doing it on paper and then just submitting the like a picture of what you did. All right, so guinea pig cage. Now, for me, and this might be different for you guys, but I was finding it easier to work backwards, if that makes sense. So like, here's the guinea pig food dish. Here's the, here's pumpkin. Here's Esmeralda, see my stylus is the best. And I think what I'm gonna have is like a little bucket with food in it that I want to actually, I want to tip and I want it to dump all that food in there, okay? So I can tell you right now that I have gravitational potential energy in that food. Okay, see it's up high, it has the potential to fall, gravitational potential energy. Now, I'm gonna need something that actually knocks it over. So, I do have a, um, I can put, I have a little table I can put next to this. And maybe I have, oh, I know. I'm gonna ha put, I have a, well, George has a basketball. So I'm gonna have it so like the basketball is gonna knock over my, um, my food. Okay, so I can tell you now that that's gonna end up being motion energy it's going to move. Now, what's going to get that basketball to move? I feel like there's a lot of energy transfer going from one object to another. Of course, hmm. um, let's see here. Oh, I know. I have up here is a curtain rod. Okay, not the best curtain rod I've ever drawn, but I think I'm going to have it rigged up so that there is a shoe attached to my curtain rod. Here, it's gonna attach down here. And something's gonna hit this shoe and the shoe is gonna go swinging and it's gonna hit the basketball. That looks like a motion to motion energy transfer. Uh, not a transformation, that's a transfer. Okay. Anyways, so I, I'll stop right there. You guys get the idea. I'm. I am working backwards. You don't have to work backwards. You can go from the beginning and work to the end. Maybe you start at both ends and then you move forward. It's really up to you how you do it. This works for me. Um, now my program again is a little bit messy, so maybe not the best. And you'll notice I didn't use any color yet, although I could, I could have you know, colored an issue or something. I don't know. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we're looking for, some sort of a sketch. And again, you can turn this in 
to the assignment. Can you turn it in? You can turn it in digitally or you can turn it in like, I mean, digitally, like, um, like a computer drawing, or you can take a picture of like an actual drawing you did on paper and just submit that. Okay, so either way, but don't forget you have these requirements, of including as many types of energy as you can, keeping it neat, detailed color, add a title. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'd call it pumpkin's feeding machine or something like that. Um, label energy transfer, transformation. Okay, so basically get the drawing done, include these things, turn in a picture of it. Okay. Essentially, that's the assignment. And you have these videos for resources. You have this document. And of course, you can email me any question that you have about it. Or if you want to show me something that you've started and want suggestions of where to go from there, you can always ask that as well. All right, good luck. Have fun.